Okay, uh, here's our final project. It's a trivet for your kitchen table for a hot pot. This is made out of cherry. It's a six by six square. Pretty easy project. Um, this is a half inch ball end mill that cut it. So I just sat, drew it in master cam, did a bunch of arcs with a half inch ball end mill, pulled it out, pulled the board off, reset it down, and ran that exact same thing at a 90 degree spin. So the actual manufacturing of it was pretty easy, but then when you're done, you have to draw the inventor file of it, which is actually pretty hard. Um, so again, I actually drew it first in Mastercam, and the board's three quarters thick. I think I had a half inch depth or five eighths of an inch depth from this side, and then I flipped it over, ran it a half inch depth on this side, and that's how you can see through it. I've actually seen really nice cabinet doors done like this as well, with really nice patterns. It's really hard to visualize this pattern until you run it. Um, and then when it was all done running, I just took it out, ran it on a uh, tabletop router <coughs> to get my round overs, and then put a, a finish on it. So this is Trivet, final project. I'm going to draw it in master. This right here is a collet. So how that whole CNC router works is it's a gantry that moves around a handheld router. That's the same is that handheld router you use or the router you mount up under that table. At the end of that router is a collet. This is a collet right here. And these collets have different This is diameter. a quarter inch shaft collet. Okay? The bits out there, the majority of them are quarter inch shaft. But I also have an eighth inch collet, Dylan, and a half inch collet. So there are two ways you could use that half inch bit. One is, is you could change the collet out and get a half inch shaft. Here's a half inch shaft. This is a V cutter. So if you're trying to cut a groove, this is a V cutter on a half inch shaft. You got to change to a half inch collet. Okay. The other option besides using a half inch shaft is here's a half inch bit with a quarter inch collet. So here's a brand new half inch wide ball end mill on a quarter inch shaft. So the collet that's currently on there is a quarter inch shaft collet. You could use this mill bit and get that half inch. Or you could change the whole collet, go to a half inch shaft with a half inch ball end mill. You know, the stronger, the larger the shaft, the less deflection you get. So when you drive that thing hard, it won't, you know, veer off a little bit. Everybody understand all that? If you have a hard time figuring any of those dimensions out, the best way to do that is use a caliper. Remember with the caliper, first thing you do is gently close it, turn it on, put it into inches, zero it out, make sure it's zero. Then you can see this is a quarter inch, quarter inch shaft, and then this right here is a half inch ball end mill.